Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with Workshop Addict and today we're going to take a look at Husqvarna's 460 Rancher. Now Husqvarna considers this to be an all-around saw which is a step up from their homeowner grade saw or occasional use saw but it's not quite their commercial line or their XP grade. Yeah, we had an opportunity this past weekend to get out in the woods and actually put it to use. We knocked down 8-10 trees with it and it really was a remarkable saw. It really worked nice. The weight on the saw, the balance, everything's there and the X-Torque motor is a great motor that is quiet, still EPA rated, gives you some good power and allowed us to not only cut down the trees but cut down a lot of stuff that had already fallen and get some good firewood. Now this saw has a 20 inch bar on it right now. It's rated for a 24 but I think it's all around 20 inch bar would be great for this. It really did complement the power you know, that the saw had and it gave you a lot of versatility. The power was good as we said, but let's really go through this, take a look at what you get with the saw and do a walk around. This saw was ordered in with a 20 inch bar, comes with a 3 8 chain, simple two nuts and your adjuster screw to adjust the chain. The saw comes with a three position adjustment for the oil pump to lube the bar and chain. Position one is for a 13 to 15 inch bar, position two is for a 16 to 18 inch bar, and position three is for a 20 to 24 inch bar. When starting the saw, simply pull the choke out, automatically puts it in the run position. Come around, give your primer bulb a couple shots, your decompression lever on the top. Easy start recoil. Once it's running, put your choke in. When you're done using the saw, please push down on the stop button. The fuel tank on the Rancher holds nine tenths of a pint of mixed fuel. You want to stay away from ethanol with all small engines, so we recommend that you either buy your fuel in the small cans that are pre-mixed or buy ethanol-free gasoline and mix your own. The chain lubricant in front has an oil tank capacity of seven tenths of a pint. For those of you in different elevations, you might need to adjust your carb. You have your high-low setting and your idle screw. Access to the spark plug and air filter are gained by removing the top of the unit. Inside here you can see the 3.68 cubic inch X-Torque engine with 3.62 horsepower and 3.4 newton meters of torque at 9,000 RPM. Now to change the spark plug, it's right on top and easy. The air filter, simply pull back on that metal and it pops right out. This is uh, washable. You can clean it with some air or you can clean it with water and soap. When you slide it back on, make sure it's in place right, pull that lever back on and you're ready to rock and roll. With the cover removed, you can also see part of Husqvarna's anti-vibration system. And there's a spring located here and one also on the bottom that really helps you feel less vibration from the motor and chain. For some safety features on the Rancher, you have a palm release trigger, your chain brake, and bucking spikes up front. So overall our experience with the Husqvarna 460 Rancher was excellent. In fact this is one of the best starting saws that I think I've ever used. One two pulls it was started every time. It was very comfortable easy to move around and I really liked the stop button on the uh, next to the choke. That was a simple push Full your thumb and it's done. Foolproof you don't have to mess with different switches and it is extremely light for a saw, a saw of this size. It was easy to move around through the woods. Um, you know, everything was there. The safeties are in the right spot. I really enjoyed using it. I think you would too. It's, uh, it's a good saw that's not going to be an everyday use saw, but it's still got a lot of power in something that you could uh, get out and rely on with no issue. One of the things that I would do right off the bat, or I am going to do, is change the chain. I want a little more aggressive chain on here with a little more bite. Um, I would suggest that if you buy this saw, check where the oil position uh, is for your adjustable chain oiler. Make sure that it's at the position that you want it to be so you get enough oil on your chain. Other than that, this saw rocks. Stop by Workshop Attic. We've got a blog and a forum. Follow us on social media. We kind of put this up when we're cutting trees and going through it, doing some different adjustments to it. Also, we have more projects in different tool-based news that comes out on YouTube, so subscribe. Give us a like on this video. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.